Hey folks, Mr. Justin here with Secret Weapon Miniatures, and today I'm going to take a look at the Secret Weapon Washes. I get a lot of questions about how to use them, and today I'm going to try and cover some of the basics and also look at what makes the Secret Weapon Washes uh, different when compared to the other products that are on the market. And to do that, I'm going to be using one of my little mantic ghouls. Ah! So let's take a look. Alright, I am here with my mantic zombie, or my mantic white. And you can see that I have painted half of him and left half of him white. No pun intended. Um, and I did this because I want to um, let you see how the color, uh, the body coverage works over just the white. Um, I did this real quick. I just did some uh, P3 paints. It's a Kato red base, um, Thrall flesh, a little bit of the Battle Dress green. Um, and I'm going to start with the baby poop. This is directly out of the pot. I've done nothing. I put it in my palette. Um, I'm going to load up my brush. I've off some of the excess, and I'm going to start pulling this into the recess. Now, one of the things that people do a lot when we apply a wash is just put it over the entire model. Blah, 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 blah. And that's not what we're going to do here. We're going to treat this more like a paint. Um, it is an ac acrylic suspension, so I'm going to start from about the midpoint and pull it down into the recess. You can see I'm pulling into the recess. I'm not just glomming it on and walking away. So I'm going to start here. Pull, 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 pull. You can see I'm pulling it towards where I want the point of maximum shadow. And you can already see, except for that little bubble, get out of there, that I've got in one coat the start of some recessed shadow, but some also body shading. But I've got a little too much here, so I'm actually going to go ahead and wick some of that away. Again, working back towards my recesses, just like I would uh, to blend a paint. Uh, since that is effectively what I'm doing, same thing on the leg here, I'm going to start just above the highlight on the thigh, where I'd want that highlight, pull it into the recesses, once from each direction. I'll come back and add some red around that gouge later, that gouge in his leg, but I can use the tip of my brush just to fill it in. So fill it in here on the thigh, bring it down, I'm going to brush it down on his leg. Same thing, so I'm going to skip the knee, come out from under the knee, and straight down. Skip the knee, under the leg, come straight down. I don't like this spot right here, a little too thick, so I'm going to pull from the leg off to both sides. Again, that's going to build my highlight for me in one step. So you can see I've already got that highlight that I wanted right through this line here. If it's not light enough, no problem. Wet your brush, pull more of the wash off to the sides. I'm going to do the same thing over here on the white section of his skin. Uh, start on his chest. So in this case, I'm actually going to cover the entire thing. So I'll start in the center, though. I'm pulling out off to the recesses, off to the shadows. Obviously, because I'm actually painting with this, I'm going to go a little heavier. But you can see right away, I mean, the amount of body coverage I can get from this. And that's part of the reason that if you've ever talked to me about the washes, I always tell you, start about the third of the way out from your shadow and pull it in. So I'm going to do that in two coats right off the bat, boom. That is baby poop. Trust me, I know. Same thing, I'm going to get his thigh. So I cover the whole body, but then I'm pulling out to the recesses. Get those little gouges there. And that'll give me nice paint coverage in two coats. Again, from the knee, pull down, from the knee, pull down. This time I'm doing the whole thing because I'm actually treating it like a paint. Note some mold lines here. It's going to pick those out nicely because I didn't bother to clean them up. So we're just doing a quick piece. Same thing. I'm going to do this face. Start uh, right here. Pull down. Pull towards his ear. Pull down, 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 down. Go ahead and get inside his teeth here. the other side, the white side, come from the sides of his nose, I'm trying to leave a little bit of white directly under his eyes because I'm going to come back later with a fallout and get a glow effect. Boom, 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 boom. Away from his eyes. Back, back, back. Away from his top of his head. On the top of his head to be lighter.
fill in his ears. Blam, just like that. So you can already see I've got some nice shading. I've got a good shading on the spot that I had painted Thrall Flesh. But on the spot where I'm just using the secret weapon washes, you can also see I've got a great paint effect. Uh, you'll talk, uh, you'll see a lot of painters talk about thinning your paint to 2%. This is what that looks like. The secret weapon paints are a little thicker than that. So they're going to provide body coverage in one coat instead of two, three, sometimes six, depending on how thin you're going. So again, I'm just going to glom this on here nice and heavy, really coat his skin. And you can see that for that nice undead flesh, the uh, baby poop does a wonderful job. In one heavy coat, this is what I got on his back. So again, on this side of his spine, from here over, there was no paint. That's just the uh, baby poop. All right, let's take a look at the cloth. I'm going to take his uh, red cloth, shake up my soft body black. Same thing, I'm going to put some of that into my palette here. It's a lot more than I need. A little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to take it. Same idea again, I'm going to start, in this case, from the bottom where it's going to be the brightest. Pull it up towards his waist, pull it up towards his waist, pull it up towards his waist. I want to do that in a couple of coats. On the white side, you'll notice I'm already do covering the whole thing, but again, I'm trying to get a gray, a dark gray. So pulling up towards the waist, filling in the cracks there. Same thing here. This time I'm going to pull down, pull down. Pull down from here, from the center point, towards his waist. Pull down, pull down. Pull down. Oop, too much. Not a problem. Clean my brush. Come in. Pull some of it out. Because I want less body coverage over my red. Don't want to get the shadows too thick or you'll get some shine. Only because, you know, you get that much acrylic in one place at one time, it's going to be shiny, even though this is a matte product. No way around it if you use too much. All right, same thing here. I'm going to push up into that recess. Pull down into this recess. Get a little line in the center there, so pull down. Pull, 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 pull. Push, 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 push. And you can see I've got light spots and dark spots. It's exactly what I want. Over the white portion, I'll go ahead and apply it heavily. And then I can come in and clean off the surface. Decide where I want heavy coverage and where I don't. Look at his skin again. Cleaning my brush. Clean it again just in case. Take my baby poop. Come back in on the skin a second time. I'm going to get some more shadow in here. It look like I got under his arm, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that in. Get that a little darker, a little more necrotic. Same thing, pull up under his neck, both sides, on the side, oops, I almost got the black, on this side, come down, just down. A little heavier there. Keep wanting to get that black, I'm going to go ahead and move it so I don't try to get that black again. Alright, off into the thigh area, out, that recess. Pull down from the knee, pull down from the knee, pull down, pull down, pull down. So I'm pushing paint down where I want it. Get his back again. So pulling down towards his waist. Pick out some of those details. Pull the excess down. 
always pulling down. Drop a couple of spots where I want them. Fill in that line a bit. Same thing on this side again, where I had already done the entire thing his, with the wash. Again, over this section of skin that I'm redoing right now, there's never any paint. This is all wash, all of the secret weapon wash. And you can see I'm already blending a shadow here. So you've got that nice highlight right here, and a nice shadow right there. That'll really show up in the uh, photo when I take it when we're finished. All right. So obviously this isn't gonna be a finished painted miniature when I'm finished, but it'd be pretty sweet. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my fallout, a couple drops there. Fallout is our bright, Day glow green. I'm going to take that and apply it to his eyes. And this might actually be the wrong color for this, only because he's so green to begin with. And as I'm looking now, I think, yeah, that's, that's the answer. This is going to be too, too light by contrast. Around a darker uh, surface, you can actually get a nice uh, uh, OSL day glow effect. Uh, works well for Crix models, Space Marine helmets, things like that. Instead, I'm going to take. Um, now let's go red black. Got red black here. Yeah, and you'll see. Hold this up so you can see. It's just too subtle. Just too subtle. So I'm going to take the red black. Get a couple of drops of that. Clean out his eyes. This is just a clean brush. All right. Come in now. In fact, I'll add that same color in his teeth here a bit to pull that out. I'd actually brought this color over to do on his uh, wounds. So I'm actually come in now and get a little drip through here, pull it up so I get some discoloration under the wound. Where else is a good one? There we go, a good one right there. Red-black action and right in that recess. So you can get good recess coverage with this as long as you're applying it where you want it. And you never want to take really any wash and just glom it over the entire model, um, give you that dipped look. Unless obviously you're trying to dip a model, in which case, hey, go for it. But uh, there are better products for that out there. For this, you won't find a better product for a controlled wash. Let's try some that red-black over the red, see what we get here. Pulling that up into here. Nice transition. And just so you can see that coverage over white, I'm going to take this section of his arm here. And let's go from here up. Now let's actually cut the whole thing and then try to just come in and shade it. Boom. And each coat is going to give me deeper, richer color. For maximum results, I tend to come in two or three times, sometimes two or three different colors. Really pick out my, my scheme, decide where I want my shadows, where I want to glaze the, the different colors so I can come over the uh, you know black shadows on my red here the first time through, and then come back with maybe some purple, make it look a little richer, a little deeper. Stippling it a little bit right into the deepest recesses so that I get that nice dark color. And this is it. This is a few seconds with the secret weapon washes. And you can start to see that even on the spot, the, the half of him that was white when we started, from here over, so this side, the reaching hand there, all of that was white when we started. The side that was painted to begin with. You can see we've got the nice recessed shadows we still got our highlights, and it's shiny at the moment because it's still wet. You've got good detail already on the face. Good definition for the muscles on the back. Again, this side here, 
from the spine over this way. None of that had any paint. That was just white when we started, just the white primer. We'd already got that red black in the recess there, the cut on his shoulder. You can already see the blended shadow here under this muscle. And that was just two coats of the baby poop. If I come in, if I wanted to get a little bit of the soft body black, really pick out that shadow. Might be a little too heavy. Let's feather that out a bit. Boom. blowing out a little bit to speed up the drying. So I'm going to come in and feather out that shadow again. And again, this is just a blended shadow, but I'm doing it all with the secret weapon washes. No mixing. No wondering if it's thin enough. Out of the tube. Onto the model. I am ready to go. All right, and there it is, a quick introduction to the secret weapon washes. Of course, I'd love to answer some specific questions, so if you've got one, drop an email to mrjustin at secretweaponminiatures.com, and I'll see what I can do for you. Thanks again for watching.